let's get warm and recharge our batteries and we can go out again and look in a bit. Where is he, Lee? Just get a towel. Come on, let's dry your hair, eh? to think of him out there on his own all through the night I don't know what I'd do without him please let him be alright he will be what if he's not Thank you very much, yeah. love. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Hello, street. Oh, it's great to be back. How did he sleep? Been up since six. Have a vicar phone before. Oh, that was nice of him. He's a woman. Any news on your mum? Uh, I spoke to her last night. She said she can't face it. Every time they've spoken since they split the bar queued, so... She says she feels like a hypocrite. I don't know. Well, we'll be with you every step of the way. How are you feeling? Or is that a silly question? Like a what, a murder, Gail? Tina. Well, you don't have to see her today, do you, babe? So that's all right, innit, eh? You might regret that. See you now. Oh, she'll be the one regretting that, Sean. Not letting her come. Sean's right, you know, love. She's been lying about how my dad died, she has. And I don't want to look at either one of her two faces while I'm burying him. OK? You all right? Guess. Mum. She's no right. She's got no right to treat me like this. I loved him. Well, then why don't I go round? I'm sure if I just have a quiet word... No, David. This is my battle. I'll fight it. Well, then I'll come with you. With all due respect, David, the girl can't stand you. I'll go on my own. This is the face of binge drink, Britain. I'm not hungover. I'm fine. Oh! Hey, hey, hey. I think we should get you to the medical centre, yeah? Yeah, let's get sit her down. OK, you OK? Yeah? Yeah, sorry. How are you getting on, writing the eulogy? Can't be easy, finding the right words. I don't even know why you're here. Because I'm upset, Tina. Well, I'm not exactly throwing a party. Why do you think I'm upset? It's because Tina's banned you from the funeral. Are you on her side now? No. We shouldn't have to take sides. We all loved him. And whatever you think of me, he chose to marry me. It must have been a side effect from his mental health issues. Your dad wouldn't want you arguing. Not today. Well, maybe he was mad. Maybe he was mad to marry me, but he did. And I'm coming to the service. How are you now? But I'd like to come with your blessing. Do you know what? I don't really care what you do, Gail. I'm looking after number one today. Thank you. What did the police say? They reckon we'd be better off heading home. The police are doing all they can. If somebody's found him or if somebody finds him, they might be trying to call home, so... Which is precisely why Deirdre went back. So what do you want to do? What is it? George. Any news? Yeah, I've got some news for him. You're a complete and utter... Peter, I think we should heed the police advice and head home. 
I should never have let him in. How can I go home? How can I? <sighs> Now's not the time to be pig-headed. GP, sir? Um, I've got to go to the hospital. Why? Everything's fine. I just might be anemic. Uh, hiya! Right, well, I best. What thanks for coming? Well, I can run you. My car's just around the corner. <laughs> oh, you're fine. You've been brilliant as it is. Right, well, um, let me know how you get on, yeah? Yeah, I will do. Thanks. I look to look all right. Any news from that one? No. What about my eyeliner? Is it too much? Sorry. Sorry, I can't stop. My mother's burying her husband, so... No, I heard. My condolences. Do you ever feel like a goldfish? I have got a much bigger memory span. And shinier girls. Are you flirting with me, Mr. Tilsley? Don't tell me you're one of those bar women who thinks that everything in trousers is coming on to them. I spoke to my solicitor this morning. You know, he looks a bit like you. Ugly. <laughs> anyway, the upshot is I've decided to accept your offer. On the proviso, of course, that Tony plays ball. My solicitor the ugly one. will speak to Tony's solicitor. And all being well, we could have ourselves a deal by the end of next week. Oh, I don't let the brass go under my Louboutin. <laughs> Excellent. Hi, Nick! What were you doing in there? Janice? You haven't answered me question. Leave him alone, Jan. Oh, aren't you handsome? Very dishy. Julie, it's the full package. You're not seeing Carla now, are you? <laughs> nice to see you again, Janice. Are you going to be us new boss then? If I am, I think you want to get your little maids to stop gossiping. Oh, I can try. I've got to go. Oh, okay. How's your new boyfriend? Practically perfect in every way. Grand put it on. Just some rubbish classical station. Can't quite believe this is happening. Uh, Mum. Yes, love. The hearse is outside Eileen's. Do you think we should be making tracks? Yeah, I'll go get Grand. You're a proper grown up man. I've been for some time, Mum. Grab a lift, can I? We're in the cortege. I can sit on the floor. No. I've got the bus then. A bit 
odd, don't you think? Decorum, Norris. Decorum. bit too early for a drink, isn't it? The kettle's on. I want to hear all about it. You've heard all about it in my emails. Come on, shake the sand out of your espatrils. <laughs> what do you want? Where's Ty? He's not here. And neither should you be. Kevin, we really need to talk. Go on, Molly. Back to your husband. Sally's been ill. I've been working like a dog. I'm not interested in anything you've got to say, all right? Got to get that. Baby, it's nearly your bit. Someone's got to get out there and say something. Or nothing will be said about him and that will be right with him. I can't do it. I can't do it, Jason. Will you do it? Shouldn't you be at work? Carla let me off early. It's Gail's Joe's funeral today. Yeah, I know. Under normal circumstances, I'd have gone, but... Hey, you're back. Look. Ken! Oh, I take it you've not heard anything. No. It was on the news before. They showed a, a little picture of him. It broke my heart. Come on. Come on. Hold the arm. I'm uh, going home. Peter, wait for me. What have I done for the folks to see my kid on the news, eh? What have I done wrong? As Tina isn't here, I wonder if anyone else has any memories of Joe they'd like to share with us. I will. I'd like to say something. Yeah, go on, Mum.
I first met Joe a couple of years ago when Tina started going out with our David. I first realised there was a spark between us at a bowling alley of all places. It's like brief encounter. Tina, you can't miss your own dad's funeral. It was all right before she came along. I wish I never laid eyes on David Platt. If I wanted met him, none of this would have happened. Yeah, well, your dad still would have been... still would have been dark. At least he'd still be alive. You know what I hate? I hate that she has his name. My name. She's not worthy of the name McIntyre. Well, what would your dad say to you now, eh? He told me to grow up and get over <laughs> it. <laughs> Come on. If you're not going to do that speech, then I am. And I need you there listening to me. You know, I can't do it. I know it was a nightmare. But it was my nightmare. <laughs> I should make us some lunch soon. Don't suppose you're hungry though. No, I'm not. Just saying. Shall I stick the telly on? Why? Or because he might be on the news again. I'll stick it on. No. Leave it. You shouldn't blame yourself, you know. <laughs> shouldn't I? Oh, it could have happened to anyone. Well, it could. I mean, kids go missing all the time. Not normal people's kids don't. Not people whose lives aren't a mess, Lee. Where's my car keys? I'm going back to Blackpool. This was a mistake. What have I done with my flaming keys? Oh, it's that nosy neighbour come to have a good go. It's all right, I'll get rid of him. You had me keys? Hiya. Peter! Oh, where have you been? Blackpool, but I didn't like it. Oh. Oh, she's here! Oh, he's here. Sorry, come here. Oh, Simon, come here. Oh. Oh, Simon. oh, my boy. I was so worried. Why? Because I thought I was never going to see you again. Oh, that's silly. I know. But I'm a very silly man. Oh, oh my baby. Oh, Simon. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's not easy living with someone with depression. It's there all the time, the elephant in the room. But I still say, Joe was the best thing that ever happened to me. It's true. I wish your feeling was mutual, liar. Oh, show some decorum, Tina, please. You weren't here, so I... If we could all stand and sing the final hymn, make me a channel of your peace. Let's sit down, I beg. No, I won't sit down. I want everyone to know. Tina, please. She is. She's a liar, and she should not be talking at my dad's funeral. And as I've just said, you weren't here. And where were you when he died, Gail? This is neither the time nor the place. Brian? She knows something and she's not staying! Shut up, Tina. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, at least I'm telling the truth. Oh, I suppose your dad was a saint, was it? Audrey. She's very upset. Upset? I'm livid! She's been covering up stuff about how my dad died! Oh, I've been doing no such thing. How dare you? 
So why do the police keep dragging you in for questioning? Shut your face, Tina. Just back in. Is she talking rubbish? Oh, you always take her aside. Oh, yeah, duh, she is my mother. I bet she wishes she had aborted you. Tina! You can tell David, no, you don't. Get off me! Get off! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a family of freaks. You're the monsters. I'm not enjoying any of this. But you're not telling the truth. Are you, Gail? Took your time, didn't you? Oh, I don't. It really hurts. I hate the dentist. He wears white jeans and he's Swedish. I mean, they just do everything to freak you out, don't they? I know. He's got these pictures on the ceiling that are supposed to calm you down, you know, like views of the countryside and all that. But they don't work, especially when you got your mum texting you. Have you got any gin? Put your weight tight. Get a brew going. Put me mouth. Do you see Glenn? I need to see you. Now. I need to tell you how... how I know Gail McIntyre's been covering stuff up about my dad's death. And don't miss more Coronation Street at 8.30.